Hey guys, it's Linus here with the Voyager Air from Corsair. Now, as you probably already know, Corsair is an enthusiast-driven company. These guys are enthusiasts. They want to build products that enthusiasts want to use. And I can't think of too many things that enthusiasts are more into these days than storage, mobile devices, and of course, as always, convenience. Now, storage, we've got lots of products available on the market for archiving all of our media. Things like NASes are awesome because you can put all your stuff on there and then you can share it across your home network. And what's great about most modern NASes today is they're extremely compact and convenient to take with you when you go on the road. Oh, wait, no, no, actually, they're not good for that at all. Okay, okay, but there's another product. You can get those wireless drives that you can use to expand the storage of your, of your smartphone or your tablet, and then you can just sync to it wirelessly. And what's so great about those is that you can just plug in an ethernet connection and easily sync it with everything else on your home network when you get home. Oh, wait, no, 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 those don't do that. So that is where the Voyager Air comes in. The Voyager Air is a traditional two and a half inch external hard drive, uses USB 3. It is a wireless drive, so you can expand your storage of your mobile device. And last but not least, it is a full blown NAS. This Voyager Air has one terabyte of space. That makes it a digital storage powerhouse. It can hold up to 800 HD videos or up to 380,000 MP3 music files. Not only that, but it is super easy to connect to any of my devices. It's as simple as plugging in a USB 3 cable and I can connect it at super speed to any desktop or notebook computer in my house. Not only that, but if you plug it into a USB 2 connector, it is backwards compatible. You just won't quite get that speed. Now, if I'm looking for a higher degree of integration with my home networked devices, I plug an RJ45 cable into the Voyager Air, and now I have a ton of different options. I can set up synchronization relationships so my newly downloaded files will automatically go onto the Voyager Air. I can set the Voyager Air to back itself up automatically to something like a redundant storage array elsewhere on my network, and because it's able to leverage the wired and wireless aspects of my home network, I can enjoy my content where I want, when I want, on whatever kind of device I want. From my smart TV or set-top box, I can browse my movies and pictures from the couch and watch them on the big screen. And because the partition is formatted in NTFS, any device that's capable of reading a regular Windows partition is capable of navigating and playing files back from the Voyager Air over the network. The Voyager Air acts as a Wi-Fi pass-through, so even if multiple tablets and smartphones are connected to it, you can still have internet access while you're using the free Voyager Air app to browse your media. You can also quickly see any files you have stored locally, as well as any media files that you've viewed recently. Settings are controlled in the bottom button. Managing files on the Voyager Air is a snap. I can upload files, I can create new folders, and I can even rearrange the existing folders to make everything easier to find. I formatted my wife's partition in HFS Plus, so that means she can easily use Finder on her MacBook to natively access the media and files that she's storing on the Voyager Air. She can also use the Voyager Air to perform regular time machine backups. The Voyager Air is perfect for visiting friends and family. I can quickly connect to someone else's wireless network, and because the app is available on both the App Store and Google Play for free, everyone can get connected and enjoy whatever kind of content they want. So my dad can watch a movie and tune out while my sister and I are exchanging family photos. Hey, aren't those your new baby pictures? Yeah, have you not seen these ones yet? No, I haven't. Hey, is this from your trip to the Dominican? Yeah, it is. Can you send these to me? Can I upload them on your wireless thing there? Yeah, absolutely. Here, let me show you how to do that. With its integrated battery, the Voyager Air is perfect for long road trips. The battery lasts for up to seven hours on one charge and it can stream to up to five concurrent users so everyone can have on the road entertainment. Not only that, but if you have an even longer voyage to go on, you can use the flexible charging options to keep it topped up. It charges from either the USB interface at the back or the power input at the back, and Corsair includes not only a USB cable, so you can charge it on your desktop or notebook computer, but also a wall board and even a car charger. So, we're on our way to Grandma's. You ready to go, hun? Yeah. How about you back there, you ready to go? With its enthusiast-grade connectivity options and ample storage, the Voyager Air really is the perfect solution for taking your digital content library with you so you can enjoy it anywhere. Well, almost anywhere. Thanks for checking out this tech wiki. I'm Linus, and I'll see you again next time.